Hello everyone, welcome to the daily morning podcast. Now let's see how the market have done in the Friday straight. Census has lost 0.09% settling at 82,890. Nifty has lost 0.13% settling at 25,356. Nifty mid cap 100 has gained 0.66% while small cap 100 has gained 0.18%. Now let's look at the gainers and losers of Nifty Fifty. The gainers are Vibro, Bajaj Finsurf, Tata Steel, Axis Bank, Tata Motors, Nestle and TCS. While the losers are Adani Ports, ITC, Coal India, Bharti Airtel, Maruti, Asian Bents and Nichuel. Now let's look at the sector wise performance. BST Realty was the highest gainer at 1.78% followed by BST Consumer Durable at 1.01%, BST Metal at 0.74%, BST IT at 0.49% while the highest loser was BST Oil and Gas at 0.55% negative. Now let's look at the market rate. 2454 stocks have advanced while 1517 stocks have declined. Now let's look at 52 week high and low. 188 stocks have scaled 52 week high. Like Apar Industries, Coforge, Godrej Phillips, Goshen Polyols, JSW Steel, Kalyan Jewelers, LTI Mindtree. While 17 stocks are trading at 52 week low. Now let's look at the fund flow data. FII with the net buyer to the tune of 2364 crore and DII with the net buyer to the tune of 2532 crore. Now let's look at the global queue. The global queues look supportive. US on Friday ended largely in green ahead of optimism related to Fed meeting autumn where 25 basis rate cut is anticipated. Asia is largely in mixed trend with major market are closed. Hence we expect a positive start for a market. Now let's look at the stock in news. Dixon Technology. The company Am Packet signed a MOU with Assets for manufacturing IT products. This remain positive for the company. Jackal prepaid Ocean services. The company has entered into an agreement with founder Link Tech to provide business loan to Jackal corporate customers. This remain positive for the company. RPJ Life Science. The company has assigned the surplus leasehold of Navi Mumbai land to KRSN Dynasty. For 145 crores, this remain positive for the company. Exide Industry, the company invested 100 crores in a wholly owned subsidiary by way of subscription in equity share capital on a right basis. This remain positive for the company. Trident, the company has incorporated in, in a unit in Singapore to expand business in the global market. This remain positive for the company. HEG, the company has sanctioned an increase in the investment of 250 crores from the previous limit of 200 crores to facilitate portfolio expansion. This remain positive for the company. GMR Airport Infrastructure. The company August passenger traffic stood at 1.04 crore, up 9% on a YOI basis. August air curve movement was up 8% on a YOI basis. This remain positive for the company. Loras Lab. The USFD inspected the company's Hyderabad API facility and closed with zero observation. This remain positive for the company. Systematics Corporate. The company will allot 6.74 lakh shares to the non promoter on a professional basis at 1531 per share. This remain neutral for the company. Adani Power. Maharashtra State Discom issued a LOI for 6600 megawatt solar power capacity, the largest in the world to the company. This remain positive for the company. JSW Energy. The company's unit completed commissioning 300 megawatt of wind power capacity at Tuticore in Tamil Nadu. This remain positive for the company. Good luck India. The company inaugurated Precision Pipes manufacturing plant in Uttar Pradesh. This remain positive for the company. Thermax. The company Arm has received an international order of 516 crore for supply of two industrial boilers. This remain positive for the company. HUL. The company has filed in Bombay High Court a plea against 963 crore tax demand. This remain neutral for the company. Ester Industries. The company has Im- allotted for fully convertible warrants to promoter aggregating to 175 crores. This remain neutral to positive for the company. Lumex Auto. The company proposed acquisition of the majority shareholding in Green Fuel Energy Solution Private Limited, Lumex and Green Fuel Management to work as strategic partners and leverage competitive strength to unlock potential of business. Acquisition will be EPS and ROC accredited, accredited to Lumix. This remain positive for the company. Nazara Technology, the board will be meeting on September 18 to consider and approve fundraising and for other businesses. This remain positive for the company. Spandana Spurti, the company has approved the sale of stressed loan assets, including return of loans, aggregating to 304 crores. This remain positive for the company. Reliance Infra, the company received an intimation from J.S. J.C.'s Flower Asset Construction Private that it has assigned the entire exposure of the company to Invent Asset Securation and 
reconstruction private limited this remain neutral for the company now let's look at the listing today uh, bajaj housing finance is going to be listed with an uh, the ipo was of 6560 crores it was subscribed 63 times on the third and final day bids were led by institutional investors at 209 times non institutional investors at 41 times and uh, shareholders at 17 times retail investors at 7 times next is uh, tolent tires the company share will debut uh, on the stock exchange at an issue price of 26 per share the 230 crore ipo was subscribed 23 times on the third and the final day the bids were led by non institutional investors at 27 times no institutional investor at 25 times and retail at 21 times cross the company share will debut today the with an issue price of 240 per share the 500 crore ipo was subscribed uh, 17 times on the third and the final day the bids were led by institutional invest at uh, 23 times non institutional investor 22 times and retail at 10 times now let's look at the ipo offering uh, western carriers the public issue was subscribed 0.71 times on day 1 the bids were uh, led by retail followed by non institutional investors rk developers the company will offer its shares for bidding today the price band is uh, 121 to 128 per share the 410 crore ipo issues and daily fresh issue the company has raised 122 crore from anchor investors northern air capital the company will offer its uh, shares for bidding on monday the price band is 249 to 263 the 777 crore ipo issue is combination of fresh issue of 500 crore and rest is offer for sale the company has raised 228 crores from anchor investors now let's look at the block deals edelweiss financial services edelweiss Fi- employees welfare trust sold 98.19 lakh shares while abu dhabi investment authority bought 35 lakh shares ashoka india equity investment trust bought 6.6 lakh shares india econ ecav bought 53.73 lakh shares and india ecom ecav ashoka white oak emerging market equity fund bought 2.75 lakh shares at 124 per share Jackson Pal uh, Pharma Infinity Holdings sold 22 lakhs and Infinity Portfolio Holding bought 22 lakhs at 400 per share. Now let's look at the bulk deal. Senko Gold Jai Hanuman Shri Siddhi Vinayak Trust sold 7.5 lakh shares at 1227 per share. Edelweiss Financial Services Edelweiss Employee Welfare Trust sold 50 lakh shares at 114 per share. Godrej Agrovet V Science Investment sold 27 lakh shares at 785 per share. Patanjali Food GQG Partner Emerging Market Equity bought 45 lakh shares at 1854 per share. And Patanjali Ayurved sold 97 lakh shares at 1854 per share. Medi Assist uh, Healthcare Services Medi Matter Health Management sold 33.3 lakh shares. HDFC Mutual Fund bought 112.5 lakh shares. ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund bought 5 lakh shares and Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund bought 4 lakh shares at 635 per share. Now let's look at the insider trades. Lancer Container Lines promoter Abdul Khalki Abdul Kader Chai Chaitwala bought 163,353 shares. Advanced Enzyme Technology promoter Madhusudan Kabra sold 1 lakh shares on September 11. Safair Foods promoter Sajista Reality Advisor sold 2 lakh shares on September 11. Now let's look at the pledge share detail. India Cement promoter EWS Finance and Investment created a pledge of 29.41 lakh shares on September 11. Star Cement promoter Amritans Chamarias created a pledge of 2 lakh shares on September 4. Ward Wizard Innovation and Mobility promoter Ward Wizard Solution India Private Limited created a pledge of 2.12 lakhs on September 11 uh, that's it for today thank you for listening investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing